area. May I have a word with you? Sure, Sarah, what is it? Lately, your attitude has been unbearable. You're acting like you're the boss of the house. I think you're disrespecting my son. I don't mean to act like a boss. Really? That's the way I see it. The room is a mess and my son looks tired. You don't know enough about being a wife, do you? I try to balance work and housework, but to be honest, it's exhausting sometimes. Maybe that's when it looks like I'm being bossy or something. That's the problem. You are so preoccupied with work that you neglect the house chores. Don't you think you're not fulfilling your duty as a wife? You should spend more time at home for my son. Yes, but work is also important. And we have to think about our finances as well. I can't quit my job. Supporting the family finances is just an excuse. My son makes enough money, so there is no need for you to work. Instead, you should devote yourself more to the family. I understand. I will try to devote more time to the family. And please think about having a baby. When will I get to see my grandchild? We are discussing the child together, but it is not going well. Isn't it because you don't have enough time to make a baby? If you don't have a baby while you are young, you will regret it later. I know that, but we have our own circumstances. That's why you can't have a baby, because you're like that. You need to understand and support my son more. You can't have a baby if you don't take care of him. We are supporting each other. Please don't say that. Huh? If you take better care of your home, my son will be happy too. You don't do proper housework and your cooking is terrible. I feel sorry for my son. Well, despite my warning to you, your efforts are not enough. I've also checked your room, but you haven't improved it at all. The kitchen is dirty and the refrigerator is unorganized. You are not a good wife to anyone. Please stop checking inside our house without permission. I don't care how good you are at housework, but I don't think it's right for you to enter our house without permission. Huh? Stop joking around. If you only had kept your house clean and done more for my son, I wouldn't have to do this, okay? I have to do this because you are a bad wife. Even my husband is disgusted with you. I wish you wouldn't be so rude. I'm sorry. I will try harder. I'm tired of hearing the word trying. I need you to show me the results and take better care of my son. Don't forget that he's my precious son. Yes, Sarah. Who the hell do you think you are? I've warned you for a long time about your lack of awareness as a wife. I didn't think you'd go this far. Are you trying to be a detective or something? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. There's something you're hiding from me, isn't there? What? It's so obvious. Why do you have surveillance cameras installed in your house? My husband was speechless with surprise. How could you hide it so cleverly? How long has it been there for? Oh, yes, it's installed. I'm surprised you noticed. It's only in our bedroom and there's nothing wrong with that. What? That's the kind of thing you usually do after you've told us in advance. This is a hidden camera. What are you talking about? You're the one who intrudes into our house without permission. In the first place, I just installed a camera in my bedroom for safety. Why should I be scolded like this for something I did for my house? If people don't enter our bedroom, I don't think they would complain about it. Or were you doing something wrong that you couldn't tell us about? It's not like that, but I just can't believe you would go this far. You're disgusting. No, that's not it. I don't really care what you do. What? 
You're just trying to get away with it. I won't let you say it was really for security. Why do I have to explain everything? Do I have to tell you everything? Stop interfering in our lives. Huh? That's a very impudent thing to say. You forget that you are my daughter-in-law, don't you? A wife is supposed to serve her husband's family, yet you are always doing things your own way. I am doing the best I can in my own way. Not all of your ways are correct. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter how hard you try. Don't act like you're doing great just because you're paying $500 for mortgage. $500? I don't understand what you are saying. This house is still our house. Unless you act like a wife, you have no position in this house. If you're going to keep acting like a boss in the house, we will pay the mortgage on this house ourselves. Sarah, I am doing my best for my husband and for our family. You're doing your best? And then we have the situation? The house is a mess and the food is not good. Don't you feel sorry for my son? And to set up a hidden camera is just insane. You're invading my privacy. I'm trying my best in my own way, but I have a job and sometimes I can't do everything perfectly. Shut up. A wife is supposed to give everything for her husband. I am really uncomfortable watching that attitude of yours. I don't know what more I can do. That's why I always advise you, right? First, keep the house cleaner. It's your duty as a wife to create a relaxing environment for my son when he comes home. And have a baby as soon as possible. We will decide what to do with the child. It's none of your business. What do you mean it's none of my business? Not being able to see my grandchild is a big problem for me. The child is a matter between us. You should not interfere. Huh? It's because of your attitude that our family is not happy. You should understand and support your husband more. If you can't do that, then you will have to leave this house. What does that mean? It means exactly what it means. If you can't fulfill your role as a wife, then you don't need to stay in this house. What? If I leave, your son will be in trouble, right? Since I'm here, that boy won't be in trouble. A useless wife should get the hell out of my house. Yes, I understand. As you wish. Go to hell! Hey, where are you? You're a real hard learner, aren't you? Why would you upset my mom like that? Are you stupid or something? Huh? Stop annoying my mom. I heard you had another argument with her. Just shut up and apologize and come back here. You're not going to get anything but your attitude, you know that? I'm not going back. By the way, I've already filed for divorce. I had you sign it just in case something like this happens, remember? I'm glad I prepared it after all. What? Are you seriously saying that? Isn't this just another one of your usual fights? You were the one who spent all that time pretending not to see what was going on. If you had taken this problem seriously and worked to resolve it properly, this would not have happened. But you always take your mother's side and make me look bad, and I'm tired of it. No, wait a minute. It's a normal thing to have a problem like this. It's not unusual, and you should solve it by yourself. No matter how much I told her, it didn't change the fact that she'd come into my bedroom without permission, complain, and leave. That's how she invades my privacy. Your mother's the one who has been telling me to have a baby. If you said something to her, she might have changed. Instead, you always rave about the food your mother makes and say that my cooking is not good. Because you said it in front of her, she kept on getting carried away. Because it's true. I like my mom's taste. It's fine that you like it. 
But why do you have to go out of your way to say that in front of her? She started to look down on me more and more because you said that. Besides, you have never once acknowledged my efforts. I work hard every day, juggling work and housework, and you never once thanked me for it. But I'm tired from work too. When I come home, I just want to eat dinner. Then why didn't you just say so from the beginning? I don't cook the same way your mother does. I try to cook for you in my own way, but you don't appreciate it at all. You were always on your mother's side and always looked down on me. You have no idea how much I have been hurt. I don't need you to tell me that. Try to understand a little. I have worked so hard for you, I'm tired of it. I can't keep fighting with your mother any longer. I really wasn't thinking of getting a divorce. I don't care if you didn't think about it. I have been thinking about it. I thought that if I didn't do something about it, it would destroy me. So I've made up my mind. But it's true that I like my mom's cooking. Then why don't you just live with her? I have been putting up with you and your mother for so long. I've been told that I'm only paying $500 for the house too. It's a lie that you told to make yourself look good. You have always been like this. I'm fine to do the housework and support you as family, but I'm not fine if I get treated like this. I have my own limits. About that, I'll tell her the truth. I'm going to need your help, so come back to me, please. Don't say divorce. Because you don't have enough money. I see that you finally decided to stand up for me. But it's too late. I'm going to make you pay the mortgage that I've been paying on your behalf. And that's not the only reason why I'm mad at you. You've always been dependent on your mother and attacking me instead of protecting me. All combined, I can't take it anymore. Hi, Aria. Are you still angry with me? I'm sorry if I misled you. Huh? I'm a bit harsh with my words. I must have misled you. My son told me everything. I'm so surprised to find out that I misunderstood everything. You can come back now. Let's continue to live in harmony. Um, what's with you all of a sudden? I don't feel good about this. You're saying I can come back? I'm not coming back. I'm free now. But I really didn't know. I believed my son when he told me that you only pay $500 a month for the mortgage. How is that possible? Did you think David was paying more than that? Because that's what my son told me. He is so good at his job and he's very popular at work. He said that you only pay $500 a month because he makes so much money. I can't believe that was a lie. It sounds like he is a big liar. He is not paying the mortgage and I was paying $5,000 a month, which is an amount that he could never afford. By the way, another very embarrassing lie is that he is popular at work because he is good at his job. What? That was a lie too? Yes, I'm afraid so. He is actually ridiculed behind his back by his colleagues because he is not good at his job. Popularity is a total exaggeration. His colleagues laugh at him. That's unbelievable. That's the reality. From now on, you should not take his word for it. But you must have known. Because you also tolerated that he was hanging out around with other women, didn't you? Um, that... Oh, I think I heard that she was from the company... Yes, but what? Are you saying that's a lie too? Of course it's a lie. Ah, I see. Now it makes sense. So this is me. You who complained so much approved of your son dating another scumbag. That's why you were the first to approve of his marriage with me. Because I was a college graduate, not a party girl and a graceful type, right? I thought that was strange. Wait, 
What do you mean? My son told me that he is very popular at work and that cute young girls are hitting on him. He told me that he can't say no. So, you see, you're just a housewife at home. So I thought it's no wonder that he's so attracted to them. I see. Then he is quite a fool. I beg your pardon? Because he was blinded by a young pretty girl. He's a man who threw everything away because he was blinded by a young pretty girl. So, what do you mean? The woman he was dating was just a random girl who is just young and cute with no education or anything. Apparently, she works at night to make money. Well, she seems to be an unprofessional, bottom-feeding kind of woman. I think the only one who is seriously in love with her is David. What? Wait, was that so pathetic? Well, I was surprised too. But you know, I am grateful to you. It was thanks to your advice that I realized this. My advice? What do you mean? Don't get comfortable just because you're married. You'll probably be dumped by now, so be prepared. You're the one who told me that. You made it sound like we were getting a divorce, and you told me that he was popular. You thought you were scaring me, but it was enough for me to find out about his affair. Though it took a while to find out. The truth is, he started drinking more and going on overnight trips. I probably should have noticed it when he started to get busy with more drinking parties and overnight trips but I was too busy trying to make money. You mean, you noticed everything because of me? Yes, that's right. Now that I think about it, I really wish you wouldn't make fun of me so much. I worked desperately with my time to make a living for that man. I was working hard every day to make sure you would have a nice house to live in. But you made fun of me, calling me a useless wife. I guess a woman with just a good look and no education or manner was a good wife for him after all. I didn't know that was the case. We are the victims. If my son hadn't told all those lies, none of this would have happened. If I had known the truth, I would have been nicer to you. No, I don't want to have in-laws whose nature is too evil. In the first place, Tolerating your son's affair and looking down on me is as guilty as he is. I mean, what are you going to do now playing the victim? Abandon your son and have his ex-wife come back to you? Are you thinking of just sucking up the money and continuing to live? So, I'm really sorry. I'll tell him strongly about all the bad things he did. That's why I want you to come back. Please present the benefits to me of my returning. That is, I will at least cook dinner for you. I know that your son loves the meals you cook, but for me, your cooking is not good. There is too much salt and everything is too oily. I'm worried about my future health. Besides, you can get a housekeeper to do all the cooking for you. It doesn't even have to be you. Don't say that. I will make sure to charge your son alimony. I have plenty of evidence of infidelity. I had no idea that he even had a woman at home while I was away on a business trip. I didn't want to believe it, but the surveillance cameras caught everything, so it was solid evidence. Surveillance cameras? That's what they were for? Yes, that's right. If he can't pay the alimony, I'll report it to his company. I will show no mercy. Wait. If you tell the company, there will be no place for that boy. If you do that, my son's life will be ruined and my husband will be devastated. You guys are crazy. That man has done so much. It would be a good punishment. Of course I will charge him for the loan repayments I've made so far. Probably because he does not have the ability to pay them. I think it's goodbye to that dream home you guys talked about. Wait, please. I told you long ago that I have a dream. 
My dream is to live a happy life in my own home with a close-knit family and my grandchildren. I know I have been cold to you until now. That's because I thought you would do nothing for it. From now on, my son will change and we will be a proper family. Will you please stop forcing your selfish dream on me? Ah, yes, I forgot to tell you this too. Good news for you. It seems that your son's girlfriend is expecting a baby. What? According to the woman, it's your son's baby. Since he has refused to marry her, she's only going to charge him child support. She seems to be a woman who knows how to live a life in a nasty way. I guess she will exploit the foolish man little by little. Congratulations on your first grandchild. A long, cherished dream for you and for the future. No, no! If he continues to have a relationship with such a woman, his life will be over. Even our relationship will be ruined. How could I let this happen? Please, you are the only one who can save us. I'm sorry I've been so mean to you. So please, come back. No, you have to understand how foolish your decisions were and reflect on them. There is not a single thing I can do to help you. Go to hell with your family and realize what a goddess I was. Oh no, Aria! Please reconsider. My son must be sorry. I will be kind to you. I beg you, please come back to us as a family. Your words mean nothing to me now. I will never forget what you have done to me. Your son betrayed me? and you continued to ignore the fact and look down on me. I can't imagine going back to that family. I am so sorry, but my son knows something is wrong. He says he's going to leave that woman. I don't care about that anymore. What I need is not your apologies, but a new life for myself. I will now go my own way, unaffected by you people. You people should fully reflect on your mistakes and reconsider your lives from now on. Don't say that. Please, just one more time. Please, give me a chance. No, this is enough. I don't want to sacrifice my life for you guys. Goodbye. After that, I tipped off the company about that man's infidelity. I had enough evidence so the company responded immediately. He lost his social credibility and took a pay cut. His colleagues suddenly turned cold, and he could not stand the change, so he decided to leave the company voluntarily. After he left the company, it was only a matter of time before he couldn't afford the mortgage on the house. Without his income, it would have been impossible to maintain the house. And then, there was the alimony payment which added to his burden. Sarah also defended him at first, but gradually, her attitude changed. When her son could no longer pay the mortgage on the house, she was forced to face the reality. Sarah went around to her relatives and asked for help, but no one would listen to her. They all knew how much she had looked down on them. In the end, they had to give up their home. Her dream home disappeared in a flash. They are now living a simple life in a small apartment. David could not find a job, and he has to live on his parents' pension. His parents have both started working part-time as cashiers at a supermarket. Meanwhile, I started a new life. I'm going to find a new job in a new place, and I'm going to work hard every day again to find my own happiness. Can I have a minute? I have something to discuss with you. What is it? I'm at work right now, so please make it quick. You're working today? Even though it's Sunday? Yeah, it's the opening day of the store we've been preparing for a while. I'm here to check the operations of the shop. Working like a slave? Is that the latest trend? You'll get sick if you keep working like that. You should quit right now and get a job in your hometown. You can commute from your parents' house if you do that. What are you talking about? I'm not going to do that. 
You haven't come back home at all lately. Maybe it's because your company is making you work during weekends too. I know you're busy, but it's definitely a nasty company if they make you work that hard. You don't have to worry about that. The company is allowing me to use some substitute days off anyway. It's not only work that keeps me busy, but I also have plans on my days off too. I can't believe you have plans on your day off. Your wife, Nicole, is really pushing you around, isn't she? What a terrible wife. You're being so nice to her and she's taking advantage of you. Stop talking nonsense about my workplace and Nicole. It's my day off. What's wrong with me making plans with my own wife? Family time is my top priority. I feel sorry for you since you can't even relax on your day off. That's not what I'm saying. I want to go out with Nicole on my day off. I can relax whenever I'm together with her. Poor thing. Looks like you've been brainwashed to think that way. Huh? What do you mean? Nicole makes you work hard at a nasty company. Then, she also brainwashed you to go out with her on your days off. What a horrible woman! How can that be? You've been acting really strange these days, Edward. The last time you came to your parents' house was during New Year, and it was only a day trip. What's the point of going home if you can't even stay overnight? You know how much I miss you, don't you? That's because you're always sarcastic to Nicole. I know how bad you've been treating her when I'm not around. If you keep doing that kind of nasty thing to her, why are you expecting me to go back home? I have no idea what you're talking about. I never said anything sarcastic to Nicole. The food she cooked tastes nothing like what we have at home. I felt sorry for you that you need to eat that kind of food. I was just trying to show her how to cook with the proper seasonings. It's not sarcasm. It's kindness. I don't think so. Nicole's cooking is delicious. Even Dad liked it. You're just jealous of her, aren't you? That's why you decided to complain about whatever she does? It's not a matter of liking the cooking or not. It's not acceptable for a daughter-in-law to cook in her own way. I just did what I had to do. Why is it not acceptable for my wife to cook in her own way? Nicole is married to me and she doesn't need anyone's permission to cook. What? I can't believe you just talked to me like that. I'm sure that you've been brainwashed by Nicole. It's really sad. What's this brainwashing you're talking about? Nicole can't brainwash anyone. No, you've been brainwashed by her. I can't just stand by and do nothing to help you. I'm your mother. I will help you to return to your normal way of thinking. From today, I'll be moving in with you. I have to discipline your wife properly. Seriously? If I stay with you, you won't be brainwashed by Nicole. You'll be able to think in a normal way. Then you will realize the pointlessness of being married to your wife. She's just an incompetent wife. If we live together, I can be your shield and protect you. Your plan is just crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to help you, but you don't understand. You've lost the ability to understand human kindness because you've been brainwashed. Anyway, I'm going to go there now, so wait for me. No, I'm not allowing you to do that. Don't come, okay? It's not nice when you do things on your own. We don't have any extra room here. Also... What about dad? You can't just leave him alone. Your dad is useless. I don't need him. I knew it. Male parents are no good since they didn't go through the pain of childbirth. No matter how many times I told him that something was wrong with you, he wouldn't believe me. He's really incompetent. Why would he believe you? There's nothing wrong with me anyway. I think dad is perfectly sane. How can he be sane? Anyway, I'm going to move in with you and protect you from Nicole. Eventually, after you're free from the brainwash, you need to get a divorce. Oh, 
come on, give me a break, mom. I don't understand your way of thinking. I'm telling you, if you come over to my house, there's no room for you. That's okay. There's one room occupied by Nicole. I'll use that room. It's appalling that she's occupying that room just because she's your wife. That room is not Nicole's room. We don't have kids now, so we use it as a work room. It's not going to be your room. Don't worry about it. I'm going to save you, my dear son. Just wait for me. Edward, can I talk to you now? What do you want? I just came to your house, but I don't see anyone there. Can you tell me what's going on? What? Your house is empty. Why is it empty? Huh? I didn't think you'd actually come. Why not? It's obvious, isn't it? Why is nobody here? Oh, we moved out of that place a month ago. Really? That place was a rental property. Also, the rent was expensive. Rental property? It was a detached house, wasn't it? I thought you bought that. You can find many detached houses as rental properties out there. But why did you move out? The landlord let us rent the property while he was on a job transfer. Now he's coming back and moving in with his parents. So he's going to rebuild the house into a duplex. That's why we had to move out. What? You mean you got evicted? What a landlord! It's terrible that he evicted you for his own reasons. That's unforgivable, even if it's just a rental property. No, it's not that. The lease was up for renewal, so the contract was about to expire. We were planning to leave at this time too. Then why didn't you tell me? I'm here now. I'm moving in with you, so I have a lot of stuff with me. What am I supposed to do with my stuff? I don't know anything about that. I told you not to come because there's no room. But you didn't listen to me. You came there on your own. Because you didn't tell me that you've moved out. Nicole must have put you up to this too. What a horrible wife she is. No, it's not Nicole's fault. I told her not to tell you. What? Why? Two months ago, you made a duplicate key to my house without my permission and broke in several times. I'm not going to let you do that ever again. What are you talking about? At first, I thought it was a burglar. I was seriously going to call the cops. I'm just glad that I realized it quickly. Call the cops? It's obvious, right? I came home to find all of Nicole's stuff thrown away. Besides, all of the photos with Nicole in it had been ripped out. I knew it was you right away because it was only Nicole's face that got ripped out. There's only one person who would do something like that. Still, it's trespassing. So you could get arrested if I reported to the police. Nicole stopped me from reporting to the police, you know. You should be grateful for that. You talk as if Nicole was trying to protect me. Actually, that's true. You didn't get arrested because Nicole was kind enough to prevent me from reporting you to the police. I didn't do any trespassing. I'm your mother. What's wrong with me entering my son's house? If you enter your son's house without permission, you are trespassing. And I can't believe you'd make a duplicate key without telling me. Isn't that a crime? After I changed the locks, you stopped coming. That's one of the reasons I moved out from that house so quickly. Then where's your new address? Of course I won't tell you. I'll never tell you. I can't help you if you don't tell me your new address. You've changed the locks and even moved to a new place. I know that Nicole brainwashed you. I have to protect you from her as soon as possible. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm scared already. Stop it, will you? I know that you must be scared. That's why I'm going to help you as soon as I can. Nicole is a horrible person. Don't get me wrong. I'm scared of you, Mom. Me? 
Why? I'm just trying to protect you. How can Nicole brainwash me? She's my precious one. I'm afraid of you, Mom. You are thinking so absurdly. I should have done this a long time ago. Do what? I'm going to distance myself from you. What do you mean by that? I don't want anything to do with you anymore. I'm afraid that you'll do more nasty things to me and Nicole. What are you talking about? Don't tell me that your wife made you say that too. That's brainwashing. For heaven's sake, it's my own intention, Mom. I've always hated you for being a control freak. But lately, it seems that you've gone too far. To be honest, I don't want to be involved with you anymore. What are you talking about? It's a mother's duty to worry about her only son. What's wrong with that? It's nice of you to worry about me, but there's a limit, right? I'm already married. There's no limit to how much I love my son. It's infinite love. I'm speechless. Anyway, there's no one in that house anymore, so why don't you go home? I'm not going home. You'll come and pick me up, right? I can't. The movers left all my stuff behind. I didn't know that you came with all your stuff. Anyway, go home on your own. Send your stuff back now. No, you're my sweet boy. I believe that you'll definitely come. Mom will be here waiting for you. Suit yourself. Edward, you still haven't picked me up yet. It's getting dark around here. I told you I'm not picking you up. I'm sorry, but I don't live close enough to pick you up. What? Where do you live now? Far away from here? I won't give you a detailed address, but it's quite far away from the town we lived. Your wife took you out to such a place? What a horrible thing to do. I can't forgive her. That's enough. I told you that Nicole has nothing to do with this. It's my decision. You're always blaming my wife. Nicole cared about you, okay? Don't you understand that? No, that's not possible. She brainwashed you. You know what? I'm the one who didn't want to live with you. Why? Nicole made you tell me, didn't she? That's not true. I absolutely didn't want to live with you, Mom. I've always hated your over-involvement in my life. Nicole cares about my feelings. Over-involvement means that I care about you, Edward. I'm always thinking about you on top of everything. I'm glad you're worried about me, but I'm already in my 30s, okay? How long are you going to treat me like an elementary school kid? I hate it when you do that. That's why I left home right after I entered college. You still don't get it, do you? I can't believe that! Even after I got married, I wanted to avoid living together with you as much as possible. But I'm the eldest son, and I knew I'd have to eventually live with you. Unfortunately, after what you've done to Nicole and me in the past, I absolutely can't think about living together with you anymore. Oh no! What did I do? After we got married, every time I came back home with Nicole, all you did was being sarcastic and bullied my wife. Nicole put up with it. Even when I warned you, you wouldn't change your attitude at all. If you keep behaving badly like that, even if we moved in together, Nicole would have a hard time. I don't want to put my wife through that kind of pain. That's why I don't want to live with you anymore. You're abandoning me for Nicole? For a woman like that? I was gonna do that, but Nicole said that you would be lonely. She said it would be okay if we moved in together with you. You were being so sarcastic to Nicole, and yet it's her who worries about you. Nicole is really a sweet person. I didn't know that Nicole agreed for me to move in with both of you. Seems that your wife has some good points too. Well, you should let me live together with you then. 
Now I have a change of heart. What do you mean? Why are you moving out of the town if you're planning to live together with me in the first place? Did you get a house for us to live together? If so, that's fine, right? I wonder why you keep saying that like a broken record. I don't want to live with you anymore. What? The trespassing incident two months ago caused Nicole to run out of patience. That wasn't me. I didn't trespass. Are you sure? Yes. It must have been a burglar. The burglar didn't take anything valuable anyway. That's good. You were lucky. But Nicole's stuff was in a mess. Most of her clothes were shredded and not in very good condition. Maybe it was just a case of not having anything to steal, and the burglar was just frustrated. I think I can understand that. You don't understand at all. It wasn't about stealing from the beginning. I don't think so. You just wanted to make a mess of Nicole's stuff, didn't you? Because that would make you feel better. I told you that wasn't me. Okay, if you're going to pretend that you know nothing about it, that's fine. I'll file a police report. Police? That's right. If it's a burglar, they need to find the culprit. I can't guarantee that there won't be a similar case in the future. You shouldn't go that far, Edward. You think so? Because nothing was stolen, right? That's not even enough to get the police to act. Trespassing and damage to property are enough for the police to start their investigation. But you don't live in that house anymore. It's pointless to call the police now, isn't it? I have photographic evidence with me. I know we've moved out, but they can still take some fingerprints and stuff like that. But... Now what? A burglar entered my house. Don't you worry about me? I'm worried about you, but... I'll report it to the police. No, you can't do that. Why not? It was me who entered your house. I know. I was just trying to clean the house a little bit by getting rid of some stuff. I wasn't trespassing. You were cleaning the house? That's right. It's cleaner than before, don't you think so? Do you think that tearing Nicole's things apart is cleaning? Because with her stuff, there was no space at all for you. I felt sorry for that. Now you have more space in your house. She really is a terrible wife. I'm not really into clothes, so I have less space. I don't need you to clean my house. Among the clothes you shredded, there was a very precious dress that Nicole's mother had given to her. What are you going to do about it? I didn't know about that. If it's so important, why don't you just put it in a wardrobe case? That's what happens when you keep things in the messy storage. She kept it in the closet with care. That's why she thought she couldn't think of living with you anymore. You ripped up everything that was important to her. Nicole has done her best in putting up with all your bad behaviors all this time. Oh, no. So now, the only person who encouraged me to move in with you has changed her mind. You can't move in with me. Living together with you is out of the question now. I'm so sorry. I didn't know Nicole cared so much about me. I apologize for what I've done to her. You have to convince her for me, Edward. It's too late for that now. If it's just a dress, I'll pay for it. I'll buy her any dress she desires. You can't reimburse her for that. Why not? It was a handmade dress done by Nicole's mother who sewed professionally. You won't be able to find the same dress in this entire world. Then why don't you have Nicole's mother sew it again? It's so easy, right? Did you forget? She had a stroke last year. She can't sew anymore. Oh, is that so? I can't believe you forgot about that. Fortunately, she survived, but she's paralyzed and can't sew anymore. 
So it was the last dress my mother-in-law made for Nicole. That's why she treasured it. I'm sorry. It won't happen again, I promise. So forgive me. I can't. It's too late. Just pick me up, will you? How long are you going to leave me alone here? I told you, I'm not close enough to pick you up. Then what am I supposed to do? I don't know, but I just called Dad. He's upset too, so he said that he won't pick you up. No way! He told me that you shouldn't come back home since you've brought all your stuff with you and went out. No kidding! I'm in trouble! Good for you. You said that you don't need him because he's useless, didn't you? You're free to live on your own now. You'll never get another chance like this in the future. You're wrong. Edward, you will forgive me, won't you? I'm not going to forgive you either. I'm so sorry. I really haven't been a good mother to you. But I promise that I'm not going to mess with you guys anymore. I'll give up living with you, so please, forgive me. That's all I ask for. It's too late for everything. You were trespassing and tearing up Nicole's stuff. You are such a heartless woman. All you've done was a crime. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. It was you who tried to brainwash me, not my wife. In fact, Nicole was the one who thought the most about you. She was always protecting you. I understood. I'm sorry. So will you forgive me? Please, just tell me where you live now. You took advantage of me because I was nice to you. I'll make it clear now. I don't want to be involved with you ever again. All I have now is a heart full of anger against you. That will last for eternity. Mom was waiting for me to pick her up for a long time. But of course, she never got picked up. She stayed in front of an abandoned house with a lot of luggage. The scene must have been bizarre for anyone to see. The next day, the neighbors reported to the police that there's a suspicious person standing in front of the vacant house. The police had just taken her away and my dad came to pick her up. I felt sorry for my dad. My wife has given mom a chance to move in with us together, but she wasted it by conducting such a selfish behavior. So she's now regretting what she has done every single day. It's finally this week. Where should we go for a trip? Hey, Rebecca. About the trip? Huh? What is it? Is something wrong? Are you feeling sick? Or you got hurt? No, it's just... What? What's wrong? Actually, Mom wants to go on a trip with us. What? What do you mean? Your mother wants to come? I told her that we are going on a trip this weekend, and she said she wants to come too. You're kidding. Of course you said no, right? It's our first trip together. There's no way your mother is coming with us. And you're not a mommy's boy. Huh? I said yes. There's no reason to say no. I've already called the hotel and got another room. Just because we're traveling together doesn't mean I'm a mommy's boy. What? Mom and I will be staying in the same room so you can relax by yourself. Hold on. That's how a mommy's boy is. It was supposed to be just the two of us, right? Well, that was the plan at first. But she said she wanted to go, so I had no choice. We'll still go together, so why not? I'm surprised that she's coming. But what's even more surprising is that you are sleeping with her and I'm alone. What does that mean? Is there any point in me going? Is it weird? If mom's coming, it's normal for me to sleep with her. Oh, no. How can that be? And there's no law that says a mother can't come together on vacation, right? Of course there's no such law. But 
Where in the world would anyone bring their parents on a date? I'm totally fine with it. Well, I guess there's also a problem on your mother for asking us to come along. I can't believe she'd follow her son on a date. What is she thinking? Don't say bad things about my mom. I'll get mad even if it's you. Huh? She's trying to follow me because she's worried about me. That's love, isn't it? She's following me because she doesn't trust you in the first place. What do you mean by trust? She can't leave me to you. If you don't want her to follow me, you have to earn her trust. What is that? You're an adult. You can take care of yourself, so it's not like she is leaving you to me. You should have been independent long ago. Mom takes good care of me. She hasn't trained you yet, so she has no choice but to follow me around. Wait a minute. Timothy, you still make your mother take care of you? I don't feel good about that. And what do you mean she hasn't trained me yet? She said, if you come to be my wife, she'll train you for all the things she has done for me so that I wouldn't get in trouble. It's obvious. I never said I'd marry you. I'm not thinking about it right now. I don't want to quit my job. I still have a lot of things I want to do. I want to get married and have kids soon. You love me, right? Then you'll put up with it for me, right? I can't. I told you to wait for marriage, didn't I? Let's put that aside. Please, please tell her no. I can't. She's already getting ready for the trip. Okay, then I won't go. You and your mother can go together. What's that? Don't be selfish. She said she'll come with us. What's wrong with that? Why don't the three of us just have fun? I can't have fun. I'm very unsatisfied. There's no way she is coming with us on our first trip. Anyway, if she's coming, I'm not going. If you cancel the trip, you'll have to pay for the cancellation. Who's going to pay for that? I'll pay it. Let me know when they charge you the fee. What the hell? You were the one who wanted to go on a trip, so I made this plan. What a selfish woman. I'm very disappointed. I said... I wanted to go with you. I don't remember saying okay for a parent or guardian to come. With a guardian? I'm not a kid. Don't be ridiculous. You're as good as a kid when your mother comes with you. She's your guardian, right? Fine. You don't have to come with us. I'm going to enjoy with mom, so don't complain later on. I don't want to go on a trip that I'm not going to enjoy. Have fun with your mother. Bye. I'll charge you for the cancellation fee. Yes, yes, fine. <laughs> there have been times when my mother-in-law has accompanied us on dates, but I believed Timothy would choose me in the end. But I guess I was wrong. This time, I realized that I could not win against her, and I was sure that it was time for me to think about how to move on. We weren't in touch for about a month, but one day when I came home from work and went to bed, my phone dinged. When I looked at the screen, it was filled with messages and missed calls from him. Rebecca, are you at work now? I need to talk to you. Call me as soon as you get the message. Hey, Rebecca, are you still working? Answer me. Sorry, I'm done working, but I was so tired and fell asleep. I just woke up. Working until this late? I'm glad I didn't marry you. Huh? Why? What's wrong? I know it's sudden, but I'm getting married. The wedding is this fall. What? What do you mean you're getting married? Why so sudden? Who on earth are you getting married to? A girl graduated from a famous university. 
she's going to quit her job and take care of the family. She's my dream girl. Mom likes her and says I should marry her instead of you. Wait a minute. How long have you been seeing this girl? About three months, I think. Mom was so worried about me that she arranged a blind date. What? That's when we were dating. You mean you were cheating on me? I can't believe it. Actually, you're the one who cheated on me in this situation. Because I'm marrying her. Huh? How could you? Is it because I wanted a time to marry you? Could be. To be honest, I preferred you, but mom said no, so I'm following her. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Why do you let her decide everything when it's about you? You mommy's boy? Don't call me a mommy's boy. Mom is a great person who brought me into this world. So it's only natural that she decides what to do with me, right? Is that okay with you, Timothy? What about your opinion? That I said I preferred you? You don't have to worry. Mom told me I could keep you as my girlfriend. What? A girlfriend? Are you making fun of me? How terrible! I'm not making fun of you. I love you, Rebecca. Even if we can't get married, you can stay with me. Is there a problem? That's enough for me. Huh? Don't be ridiculous. I don't want to be with you in that situation. I would like to step aside. You can't do that. I'll miss you. I'm saying I'll make you my girlfriend. I don't want to be your girlfriend after you cheat on me. Don't make fun of me. I'm not making fun of you. But she got pregnant so I can't cancel the marriage. Rebecca, you would understand, right? How can I understand? I don't even want to understand. And she's pregnant? Forget it. Let's break up. There's no reason for us to stay together. Oh no, I don't want to break up with you. You're not planning to get married, right? We share the same interests. Are you an idiot? We don't have common interests at all. And it's none of my business when you don't want to break up with me. Don't say cold things. I love you so much. I'm not interested in people who cheat on their partners. Please be happy with her. Well then, goodbye. Take care. Wait a minute. Hey, Rebecca. Unbelievably, Timothy was dating someone that his mother recommended when we were dating. Plus, the partner got pregnant and he asked me to be his girlfriend because his mother told him so. This is beyond insane. What kind of parenting has she done? I said goodbye to him and tried to start a new life. But he was so stubborn that he came to my office and home several times. Of course, I just kept sending him away each time. A year later, when I was finally able to lead a fulfilling life at work and in my private life, the nightmare returned. Rebecca, long time no see. It's me, Timothy. Timothy? It's been a while. Can I help you? Don't talk to me like that. That's too cold. It's you and I. That relationship ended a year ago. I'd like you to leave me alone now. What can I do for you? That's a terrible thing to say. I brought you good news today. Good news? I'm divorced. What do you think? What do you mean what I think? It's none of my business, and... So, you're not happy about it? No. Why would I be happy? Because you came to the position to be my bride again. You have a chance to come back to me. How can you not be happy? Um, I don't understand what you're talking about. I haven't thought about you once since we broke up. To be honest, it's annoying. Rebecca, you don't have to pretend to be tough anymore. You have to make the most of your chance. 
you may never get a chance like this again, you know. I don't need such a chance at all. Is it true you're divorced? Yeah, that bitch. She tricked mom and me. Tricked you? She married me because she was pregnant, but I wasn't the father of her child. She tried to raise another man's child as mine. Unforgivable, isn't it? What? Really? I'm surprised at you and your mother, but I'm also surprised at your ex-wife. After the baby was born, mom said he didn't look like me, so she had us tested. The results showed no parent-child relationship. Apparently, it was the child of her boss at the company she worked for. This is terrible. Oh. That boss was married and he had to hide the affair, so she decided to have a child with me since we were planning to get married. I didn't think she was that kind of a woman. I knew I should have married you. No. I don't think that would have happened either. You went through a lot. I know. Mom got so angry that she collapsed and was hospitalized. That bitch refused to divorce me, so we couldn't settle the matter at all. Oh, I see. I have nothing to do with that, though. We finally got divorced the other day. Now you can be free. Hey, I'm already free. And I'm not interested in your divorce. I have no interest in getting involved with you. So if you'll excuse me. Wait, wait, don't say that. I want you to come back to me. After all, I need you. Please don't joke around. Let me politely decline your request. Mom is in the hospital, so let's go on a trip. Just the two of us. I'll take you wherever you want. No, thank you. I'm going on a trip now. Traveling alone? You must be lonely, so I'll go with you. Which station are you at? V Airport. And don't worry, I'm not alone. My husband is here with me. I'm with my love. Huh? Husband? Hey, you don't have to show off, okay? You're going to marry me, right? We had our wedding yesterday. We're at the airport today for our honeymoon. Please don't disturb us anymore. Oh no, that's a lie, right? You said you didn't want to get married. I said I didn't want to get married because you told me to quit my job and take care of the family. Huh? That's obvious. It's natural for a woman to get married and take care of a family. That's why I can never marry you. My husband told me that I don't have to quit my job until our child is born. And besides, he helps me with the housework. Nowadays, couples have to cooperate with each other to live together. <laughs> of course, he said I can continue to work if there is a place to take care of the baby. I'll be able to live my life as I am without having to put up with anything. <laughs> but that's not going to raise a good child, is it? Isn't it a mother's duty to be with her child 24-7 and educate him? That's what my mom has always done. And you are the result, right? That may have been true for your family, but we want to raise our child in a carefree way. Please don't impose your image of education on us. No way. Rebecca, please, come back. I'm sure two divorced people will get along just fine. I'm sorry I left you and I apologize. Two divorced people? You're so rude. I just got married. And I don't need such a heartless apology. Please find a woman who understands your educational theory. Rebecca, I don't want to. What should I do? Mom is in the hospital and I can't rely on dad. Besides, she can't speak properly because of the after effects. This is a good chance for you to leave from her. Why don't you walk on your own feet? I hope you do your best. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to board. Oh no, wait, Rebecca, don't abandon me. After that, Timothy came to the office once and made a fuss to tell about where I was traveling to. I was surprised that he hadn't given up. Perhaps because they called the police and had them deal with the situation, he has not been involved with me since then. I heard that he has been attending blind dates and parties. However, there were many complaints from the women who attended it. And I heard that he was banned from some parties. <laughs> that must be true. It's not of my business though. On the other hand, I was able to marry a wonderful and understanding husband and I am living a fulfilling life while I work. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.